Serato DJ Pro is finally released. In this video, we take a look at the new features and my thoughts on all the changes. Find out more coming up. Thanks for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So Serato is finally released Serato DJ 2.0 or better known as Serato DJ Pro. So they made some changes to Serato DJ Pro that does make it a step up from previous Serato DJ. Now a lot of these features aren't flashy but they're features that a lot of working DJs that work multiple nights a week will definitely love and appreciate. So first up we have the new practice mode. So if you've ever used Serato before, this screen right here should look familiar to you. Right here you can go ahead and load a song, you can play the song, set your cue points, set your loops, set your flips if you have you know, the flip expansion, uh, edit your beat grids, but it's only one deck so you can't really do any DJing with this. And in the past, this was because to unlock the actual full software and to be able to DJ with it, you had to hook up to a Serato piece of hardware. So be it an audio interface like an SL3 or 4, or a mixer like the Rain 62 or Pioneer S9, or a controller like the Roland DJ808 or any of the Pioneer DDJs. But now we actually have the option to have a full practice mode. So if we go here to the top left, you can click right here on this number two, and it actually opens up a second deck. Now this is something that a software like Pioneer DJ's Rekordbox had in the past where even if you didn't have the full Rekordbox DJ software, if you were just using it to organize your music, you still had the ability to have two decks to at least work on you know, ideas, work on mix ideas, not really DJ a full party using this mode, but at least be able to, you know, work out ideas you have in your head on some mini sets or maybe you want to see if these two songs go together if you, or if you can chain a couple songs together to make a nice you know cohesive setup for a next idea you might have so with this new practice mode you get a lot of functionality so just like the regular one deck offline mode you still get your one player that still has all its same controls but the added controls here is you have the ability to change pitch or BPM you have uh, you know nudge up and down you have sync you have you know the gain control as well as volume fader then you have a cross fader as well so you really can work on ideas and get ideas down between a couple songs and this can really help for a lot of traveling DJs that don't always have the ability to plug in to a piece of hardware to work on an idea. I know a couple friends of mine have carried smaller controllers like that Newmark DJ to go or maybe the smaller Pioneer DDJ. Uh, I believe it's the SB, the all plastic one that you can just throw in your bag. But with this, in some instances, you won't even have to carry that anymore because you can work on these ideas within the software without having anything really connected besides your headphones and to me this is my favorite new feature of Serato DJ Pro because I'm probably going to use this the most out of all the new features. So moving on to the next new feature let me actually hook up the hardware here. Okay now we have both decks set up and going so let me put these out of through mode and first off one thing that you saw in the offline and practice mode is the change of this layout right here. Now this is the second new feature, which is the performance pad view. So what this is supposed to mimic is something like the Pioneer SP1 or the pads on the S9 or any of the other Serato DJ controllers where you have two rows of pads, making up eight pads, making up the eight cue points you have per side, just like you have those pads on the actual controller or piece of hardware. Now this is really cool because it'll just make a nicer you know more visual representation of what you see on the hardware matches what you see on the screen so if you're just you know just focused on the actual hardware you'll see that representation come up and it just makes it more of a one for one instead of that list where you, you have to kind of second guess and look like oh am i clicking on the right cue point or am i you know on the right pad on the controller this makes it a lot easier to just look at it visually and make sure that you're hitting the right pad now with this new layout as well, you're not really losing any of the functionality. So if I go ahead and go to the setup and then I go ahead and click on library, I can go ahead and turn off the actual performance pad layout if you don't like that. And you can go back to the older layout. So as you can see, you still get all 
eight but or all eight cues and you still get the ability to see your save loops as well so I actually like this a lot better because it lets me see the colors of the loops which really helps out when you're actually you know looking at the pads because it's a bigger you know section of each color so if you're like me and you do some really diligent cue pointing on some of your songs like this where I have three cue points it's nice to see these three with these big stripes of colors where I can look at either my SP1 or an S9 and see those colors match what's on the software as what's on the hardware it's a lot nicer than seeing it in this view where you just look at it real quick and all you get is these little dots having that bigger stripe really helps out now another new feature that's in the settings is this new high-res screen display now this is more for DJs that have either 4K displays on their laptops or UHD displays, but for all of my MacBook users out there, this is for everybody with a Retina display on their MacBook. So we're talking about all the new MacBook Pros that have come out in the last few years. Um, those ones, if you're if you were using Serato in the past with them, because of the way that Serato's interface was set up, everything looked a little bit blurry because the resolution for Serato was, you know, not as high because the most of the actual users were still using those older screens with those you know smaller displays but now since so many people use these new higher resolution displays it looks really fuzzy if you really look at someone using say maybe a macbook air compared to a macbook pro with a retina display using the old version of serato dj you can definitely see the difference and the fuzziness of everything in the interface but with this new mode you actually get the ability to have everything sharper and everything on point so everything looks crisp and it's a lot easier to see and it just doesn't look as fuzzy now right next to the setting button you'll see this help button with the drop down now previously this was just the question mark and you could just go highlight over things and it would just give you tips based on where your mouse was but now you can still see the shortcut keys and even on top of that, you can watch tutorials if you're connected to the internet. You're not going to be able to watch these if you're not connected as well. And you can ask for straight up support as well as search help, the help section and try to find an answer without having to, you know, jump into a browser or anything like that. You can do all those search type things all within the actual Serato DJ Pro software. And now the biggest feature, which I really can't show you, but it's probably going to make the biggest impact on all the DJs out there that work every night and have worried about the stability is the fact that Serato DJ Pro is now 64 bit. So in the past, Serato DJ was only 32 bit and now it's 64, which gives the ability for Serato to use more of your actual computer's power to help make Serato DJ more stable. Now with this new 64 bit update, you can have a larger library without having issues in the past if you had a really big library you could run into some issues but a lot of those have been ironed out now because of the 64-bit support but overall 64-bit gives you a bigger stability update that just gives you a better peace of mind that this software is going to work better because it does so much more it needed that extra power in comparison to you know serato scratch live being 32-bit that program was pretty bare bones because it didn't need to support that many pieces of hardware and have so many more intricacies but this one does because there's so much more hardware that works with Serato DJ and now Serato DJ Pro so having the ability to use more of your actual computer's power to help make sure that everything works correct is probably the biggest update and the most important one now I've had the actual you know beta for Serato DJ Pro in the past and this is pretty on par with what we saw in the beta some things are you know a little bit more polished and it's just really nice to see that they made the effort to you know go through a longer beta process to make sure a big software jump like this would be working correctly and i'm going to be using this pretty much day in and day out just because i'm you know fully invested in serato dj already i've been using it for years ever since the dvs came out for it i made the jump early from serato scratch live to serato dj and just the small tweaks like the performance pads and the offline mode um, now per practice mode makes a huge difference as well as just the overall stability that I'll get from 64-bit makes it well worth it to have Serato DJ Pro as my main DJ software now one other thing I will say if you're still you know kind of on the fence about switching completely to Serato DJ Pro 
and you're comfortable with Serato DJ, here's one tip. Before you install Serato DJ Pro, if you go ahead and go into your applications, go ahead and rename your Serato DJ and just add something at the end to differentiate it. So in my case, I added the version number, so version 1.10. And what that'll do is it'll stop Serato DJ Pro from overriding Serato DJ no matter what. So you can still have Serato DJ Pro running and still have it installed. And if for some reason something happens, you can still close it down and still have your old install of Serato DJ going. Then you can just open that up. It still uses the same library. All of those things are still connected. So you can still have both pieces of software running on your computer. So that's a look at Serato DJ Pro and all its new features. So question of the day, what's your favorite new feature? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.